Ramen and noodles are everywhere in Japan, but every city has their own style of ramen and noodle, and Kyoto is no exception. So this time we are going to try the thickest ramen brought in Kyoto, a Michelin star ramen, and a noodle that flows in the bamboo slide. So let's go check them out! The first ramen store that we are going is said to be the thickest ramen brought in Kyoto. Which is really interesting because a thicker broth usually implies a rich and more concentrated flavor. So let's see whether that is the case or not. Finally got my ramen and look at how thick the broth is. Huh. Surprisingly, the taste is pretty light. It is good, but wasn't as strong as it looks. Probably because this is a chicken based broth, not a pork based broth. And the noodles are pretty thick. I guess that's a given because a thin noodle will get soggy real quick with this kind of thick broth. And next, let's try the chashu. It is pretty nice and thick, but also very tender. And all of this pork only costs an additional 200 yen. Oh, that made me pretty full. It was certainly a unique and delicious ramen. Though I'm not sure if that is still considered as a ramen broth or not. So right now I'm in front of a ramen shop that I stumbled upon by accident. Because there was quite a line and I found out that it is a Michelin star ramen shop. So here I am becoming part of the line. So they have a Wagyu ramen which sounds amazing. But the staff recommends me the dashi ramen. So I followed his recommendation and get that Wagyu as an extra topping. The ramen itself looks pretty good. We got a giant bamboo shoot, a thin slice of pork, some bonito flakes and a nori. And as usual, let's try the broth first. Mm, the broth has a light and clear taste. And it goes pretty well with the thin noodle. How about this giant bamboo shoot? Wow, I think this is the first time I had a really good and sweet bamboo shoot. The pork is really tender. My only complaint is it is way too thin. They should make it as thick as a bamboo shoot. And finally the one that I've been waiting for. The A4 Wagyu beef. That is some good beef. And the sauce is really good. It tastes a bit sweet, similar to a sukiyaki sauce. I love that. Overall, that was a good ramen. And I don't feel too guilty after eating it. No wonder they got a Michelin star. So now I'm on my way to our final dish, which is only available during the summer. And it is pretty far from the city. It took me about one and a half hour from Kyoto station. So from what I knew, they open up at 11 a.m. and here I am at 11.02 and yet I still need to wait for about one, one and a half hour. There are a couple of shrines around the area but because it is right in the middle of summer, it's very hot outside. So I decided to sit back and patiently wait for my turn. They only give a dipping sauce and some warabi mochi. As for the noodle, you need to catch it from this water slide. Okay, here comes my first noodle. Dip it into the sauce and just mix all of this wasabi.
It's pretty good. The noodle is chewy and it is quite refreshing. This is pretty fun. I just need to be careful not to miss any of the noodle. Ooh, finally the red one comes out. Which means this is the last one. It doesn't have a different flavor but it does have a kind of earthy smell to it. And lastly we have the warabi mochi. It's pretty nice mochi. That was a pretty fun experience. In total there were 12 noodles and the whole thing took about 10 minutes. It was quite challenging to record, eat and keep my eyes on the slide so I don't miss any of the noodle. But it was fun. And you don't have to worry about hygiene because you have your own slide. The people on my left will always take the noodles from the first slide and mine is always on the second slide. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.